Maybe through their looks, they might not be the most gorgeous of the lot, but their hearts are the most gorgeous of the lot. Subhanallah. So if you were to choose for the right reasons, you would be able to live a good life. And this is why we say, when you dress appropriately, when you work on your character, when you work on your conduct, you have strengthened yourself from falling into the weakness of this dunya, where you end up making wrong decisions in marriage. And those who married you, have married you for the wrong reasons. May Allah protect us all. My brothers and sisters, it is about time that we worked on our marriages. I'm sure it looks like a lot of us here are married by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Work hard to be known as the best to your family members. Khayrukum, khayrukum li ahli. It's a hadith of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa Do you know what he used to say? The best from amongst you, the best to your spouse or your family members. How many of us, our family members can say, my father's the best or my husband the best, my wife the best, subhanallah. How many of us will be able to hear the statement, not because they are scared of us, but even behind our backs. They will never say one word. They will say you are the best. Work towards it because you will earn paradise when you can achieve that. When the hadith says the best from amongst you, those who work the best in their families. What is the point of the whole world's women thinking that, oh, you are a hot shot top guy and your own spouse is saying, if only you knew. What's the point of the whole world thinking, wow, this guy's got such a good wife. And the man says, Allahu <laughs> Akbar, may Allah protect us all. May Allah grant us strength. It is happening in the dunya where people are living a life of cosmetics. Just like we paint our faces, we've painted the reality from the people so they don't know the disaster behind the scenes. Really. My brothers and sisters, we can do much better. What a beautiful deal. It is holistic. It allows us to enjoy the dunya. Do you know, we are not from amongst those who say, in order to achieve the akhirah, just get out of the whole world, go into a hut, and just say, Allahu Akbar, and stay completely in that way. Salah is extremely important. We know that. We've spoken about it, but Allah allows you to have good food, and to have a good conveyance, and to have good things in life. We told you and we will repeat it. And the lesson is for me as well. That should never ever come in the way of you and your maker. The link between the two of you. Never should you have anything that will come between the two. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala strengthen our link to him. So we will fulfill our salah by the will of Allah. We will dress appropriately. Another very important point. You want to be strong, strengthen yourself by fighting your temper. Anger. Anger will get you into the most difficult situation of loss. You will lose so much whilst you are angry. You say things and do things you will regret. So the Prophet wasallam, a man came to him, young man, saying, Oh Messenger, peace be upon him. Imagine the Messenger. If you had a chance to talk to Muhammad wasallam, what would you say? What would you ask him? That's a question that perhaps we can sit and just think about. One day, inshallah, we will meet him. So the man got an opportunity with Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and he says, Oh Sini, give me some good advice, O oh messenger, give me some advice. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, you know, one would have thought that he would have given a long lecture for a whole hour, like what we are doing today. No, he just said, La Tarqam. Don't get angry. Amazing, don't get angry. So the man says, and I need more advice. He says, don't get angry the second time. He says, and I need more advice. He says, don't get angry the third time. Oh, that was enough. Subhanallah. This was continually repeated. What does this mean? For us, this anger is something we need to learn about. Male or female, protect yourself from anger. Calm down. Cool it. Subhanallah. Calm down. Really, it will help you. It will strengthen you. You do not need to prove that you can fix someone. No, a strong person is not he who out wrestles the other, but he who controls himself when he is angry. Especially when you have a soft target. Who is the soft target? You know what the men do? I don't know if the women do it as well, but let's hope they don't. You know what a lot of the men do? They have a problem at work with someone and they cannot vent the frustration because he is big boss. So what they do, they come home and they start yelling and screaming at the wife. 
and the wife is like, but what did I do? I've just prepared such a beautiful meal. The children are all ready. You need to look at them. They want a good hug and a kiss from you as the father. And you're coming here and swearing. And you have no clue that because he could not face big boss, he is facing small boss. So the soft target, you are just venting. So now what happens? Your wife is crying. Why? Because your boss shouted, you? Who's crying? Allahu Akbar. You had a bad day at work, so you must make your wife and your children cry. Is that a Muslim? You still claim to be believing in Allah? You came home to show who's the boss? That's not important. The world can think that your wife is the boss. For as long as you have a happy marriage, thank Allah, go ahead. You know, we used to tell the youngsters, my dear youngster, you are getting married today. You need to know something. And by the way, there is a sister of ours instrumental in this particular uh, preparation of this event. Mashallah, may Allah grant her goodness. She's getting married today, unable to be with us. Wallahi, our du'as are with you. But my advice to you, and this will remain forever, and your husband, inshallah, remember your friends become secondary because your spouse becomes primary. Remember that. Your friends become less important, your spouse comes first. So we have people, after they get married, the young man, it's 10 o'clock, he's still sitting in the corner there talking to all his friends, having a nice chat and a laugh. And you tell him, brother, you married? He says, yes. What are you doing here, 10 o'clock? He says, well, I'm the boss. You can be the boss. That type of statement might break your marriage. Allahu Akbar. Even if you're all your friends, when it comes to 8 o'clock, you look at them and say, guys, have a good night, I'm going. Wow, what a chicken. You going home? Well, you can call me a chicken and you can call me whatever you want. But I've got a very happy marriage, alhamdulillah. Is there anything wrong? Going home early? Spending time with your spouse? There is greater reward spending time with them than to be sitting with your friends. Because that creates a state of weakness. Today we are speaking about strength. A strong person can fight the temptation to be online all the time. Subhanallah. Online all the time. You know, Subhanallah. You get married and people see you online one minute ago. Allahu Akbar. You are married. Turn off that phone. Come on. Subhanallah. Turn it off completely by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah bless us. The issue is that of discipline. That of discipline. You know, discipline is something, it does not just come without making an effort. You need to make a very big effort to protect yourself from anger. You need to make a very big effort. Fight yourself, fight your nafs in order to develop a good quality or eradicate a bad one. Don't think that automatically my, my habit of swearing is going to go. No, it won't just go away. You need to stop it by force. You need to have the feeling within you that link with Allah and the hope in the Akhirah. The fact that you want to go to paradise.